Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jet Bridge. I hope you're all doing super well. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do brake to vacate in the Innerbuilds A350. Now this is with a correct like ground chart, so not with like a manual landing distance. This is with the actual airport being displayed. Um, so that further ado, we'll get straight into it. Before setting brake to vacate, make sure that you have all of your landing conditions completely synced and done. So the way you do this is by going to your um, OIS, I have it down here today, usually you see it up there, but it's the same thing. Um, so you go to your landing perf page and then make sure you sync your FMS to what it um, has currently and then press sync on the left hand side and as you can see we've got a few details. Press compute and then you can see you have your landing distances depending on the uh, weather as well and everything down here is computed. It's then going to talk to your um, like weights and your speeds and how what exit you should be coming on or off that. So, to get brake to vacate to set, you want to switch your view on the ND to plan. And then once that's set to plan, you need to set your range to zoom. So bring that all the way down to zoom. And we're landing at Orlando today. And as you can see, straight away, you have this wet and dry marker. So this is like your landing distance. So for a dry runway, that's your land distance. For your wet runway, that's your land distance there, like your minimum. So we're zooming a bit more, all the way to the bottom of it as far as we can go and we're going to move the map over with the mouse clicking it until we find the runway we are landed on which in our instance is 35 left okay so once you have found the runway that you're landing on move the mouse upwards until you find the waypoint that you want to come off at as you can see you can start coming off at hotel 6 however if you click hotel 6 and then set break to vacate exit and click that you can see here the exit at Hotel 5 is too short, so it's probably not going to make that exit. So we're going to unset that break to vacate. And the next one, the next option for me is here at Hotel 3. So you're going to click Hotel 3 and set break to vacate exit. And as you can see, we have no warnings at all. So now the aircraft has been set to Hotel 3 for break to vacate. So once we land, the aircraft will break with the correct uh, amount of braking in order to get us off around this point. The way you then activate this is by coming over here and pressing the auto brake button, like so. Once you click the auto brake button, as you can see on the PFD in the top left, it says BTB in blue, which stands for brake to vacate. And then that is literally it. That is how you set brake to vacate. It's very simple. And you can go back to your normal views and switch it back to the, you know, your actual view of your flight left. Although well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed that video on BTV and it helps you out. If you want any more tutorials, do let me know in the comments below on specific things. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.